What's up everybody, I'm Dr. Josh Chagoda. Today I'm gonna to show you how to release your own hand pain. And this could be something from just, you know, poor posture or if you're one of those people out there suffering from carpal tunnel syndrome. A lot of people have this numbness and tingling and it often can be relieved through our hand and through some of the tension within our forearms. So one of the things you're gonna to wanna to do is release the forearms. And another thing that you may want to do is also work the flexor tendons or the tendons like right around here. Now, when we're talking about the carpal tunnel, a lot of people will start pointing towards like the numbness and tingling through here, but the carpal tunnel is a tunnel, just like if you were driving through the Lincoln Tunnel, right? It's like this tunnel just like this where all your tendons and where the nerve and the artery actually run. And so when this tunnel gets smaller and smaller and smaller, uh, when we kind of shorten it up, that ligament that goes over here can start becoming too tight and then there's not as much room for those tendons and that nerve. And of course, that nerve is the first thing that we're going to feel. That nerve is going to give you that pain and that's, that is what makes you say, ow, I gotta do something about this. So we can address it using a Grasson tool. If you don't have a Grasson tool at, at home, you can still work out your forearm pain, like kind of mashing it like this. Or if you want, you can take like a butter knife, the back end of a butter knife and kind of just kind of work the top of the hand. I like to just go slow and light at first up through here, guys, just like this. But also what I like to do is I like to kind of go right off the, the crease. So if you see the little hand crease here, just like right above that, that's where that ligament works. And we can kind of just like, peel right through it so almost like you're kind of peeling an apple or something like that peeling an orange just like this you kind of like that like kind of like scooping through it and you're not going really hard you're just freeing it enough just to scoop up you might just change the direction a little bit a little bit and then you may just kind of work a little bit through here and oftentimes we'll what we'll do is we'll use some sort of lubrication like uh some sort of emollient some oil or maybe we'll even use some, some lotion or something like that just to help the tool glide inside. But if you have a butter knife or if you just even wanna do some cross friction just to open up that hand, these tools tend to work really, really nice. And if you wanna use the back of a butter knife, you, it's fr pretty simple, you can just do it like that. But that will really help alleviate some tension in the hand and through the wrist flexors and maybe even the form as well. So great way for you guys to release some hand pain, uh, possibly even some carpal tunnel pain. All right, guys, I'm Dr. Josh Jagoda. Thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you guys for the next episode. Bye.